and describe the function of each enzyme during DNA synthesis. And it's definitely important to know these enzymes for the exam. So the first one is DNA ligase. Remember, ligate is to join. And the job of DNA ligase is to join the ends of adjacent Okazaki fragments. Okazaki fragments or are the short segments of DNA that are formed on the lagging strand. DNA polymerase 1 removes the RNA primer between those adjacent strands and replaces them with the correct DNA sequence. And then DNA ligase joins those adjacent fragments. Primase. Notice that enzymes end in A's. And the rest of the word often tells you the function. So this is an enzyme that has to do with primer. This is the enzyme that actually makes an RNA primer. So it synthesizes the RNA primer used by DNA polymerase. So recall that DNA polymerase can only add nucleotides to a pre-existing strand. And therefore, to get synthesis of DNA started, there needs to be a primer. Helicase. Helicase has the job of unwinding the DNA double helix. In order for synthesis to occur, of DNA, the double helix needs to be separated, and then each of those strands serves as a template for the synthesis of a new strand, a new complementary strand of DNA in the process of, of semi-conservative replication. DNA polymerase, this is actually a group of enzymes. There are multiple DNA polymerases, such as DNA polymerase 1 and DNA polymerase 3 that we discussed. The job of DNA polymerase is to add nucleotides to either a primer or the, or, you know, starting out as the RNA primer and then to the growing chain of, of DNA. Okay, so it add nucleotides to form a new strand of DNA. And this is a strand that is complementary to the template strand. Recall that it only works in the 5' prime to 3' prime direction. It only synthesizes DNA in the 5' prime to 3' prime direction, and it requires a primer. Single-strand binding proteins bind to the separated DNA, separated DNA strand, meaning it's no longer a double helix in that region. It's been pulled apart to stabilize them. So after helicase separates those strands of DNA, single-stranded binding proteins hold them apart, keep them separate, keep them stable. 